Do you get a sinking feeling that your friend doesn't even really like you that much? Do you wonder whether they love you at all or are you just a tool to them? Well, the truth hurts, but you have to face it. In this video, I will share with you 7 signs people are using you. 1. They don't contact you unless they want something. If your friend is using you, the most noticeable sign is that they don't contact you unless they particularly need something. It may not be obvious at first what they need, since they may be self-aware enough to conceal their intentions. For example, maybe your friend calls to hang out with you. They spend a few hours with you, and sometime during the encounter, they mention a problem that they have. Maybe their car broke down. Maybe they need to cut the grasses in the lawn. Or maybe they are short on laundry money. An expert user won't ask you for anything up front. They will build some rapport, and then mention the problem. Before you know it, you might be offering to give them a ride to work, to fell their tree with your chainsaw, or let them use your washer and dryer. Obviously, there is nothing wrong with doing favors for your friends. That's part of friendship. The problem begins when your friend wants something from you almost every time they see you. 2. They leave you in your darkest times. Let something suddenly derail your life and you need some support? Sometimes it's not even about money or resources. On occasion, we may just need someone to talk to when our world is crashing down. When something tragic happens, does your friend show up for you? Or do you hear nothing but crickets chirping? Can you rely on your friend during your darkest time? Or do you have them around when things are great and blossoming? It's one thing if you're a negative nerd and are always complaining about every little thing in your life. That would drive anyone away. But if you're a reasonably positive person who's having an emergency, you should be able to expect a real friend to sympathize. Except there is a strong reason for their absence. If your friend doesn't show up to cheer you up in bad times, then they're probably using you. 3. You hang out on the specific conditions. Sometimes the fact that your friend is using you can be disguised by circumstances. For example, maybe you only ever meet each other when you're going out to your favorite nightclub. In this situation, if they were using you for your social status because you're popular and it makes them look good to be seen with you, it may be hard to tell. Or they link up with you when you have money and you want to do some shopping. In this case, they are only after you because of the little money you have. Switch things up a bit. See if your buddy will be willing to hang out alone or do something totally different from what you usually do. Invite them over to your tiny low life house or tell them to meet you up in a public place. Unless it's an activity that your friend hates, they should be happy to spend time with you, but in your wretched home and in public, if they actually like you. 4. They blackmail you if you don't do what they want. Good friends understand boundaries. They will not force you into doing what you don't want. Crappy friends who only want to use you for resources might be angry if you don't give in to their requests. Often, they may even try to manipulate you by guilt tripping or saying things like, I thought you were my friend, when you tell them no. Watch out for this controlling behavior. Real friends respect your free will and they'll like you even if you have something besides your friendship to give. Someone who is using you does not care about the limits they might be crossing with their boundaries. As long as it is what makes them happy, they will use any means to get it from you. They play the victim and make you feel like you are using and oppressing them. Users are so quick to turn the tables and paint you bad to them. 5. They know and use all your buttons. Deceitful friends start out as someone who was interested in getting to know you and will present themselves as being concerned with your overall well-being. They ask certain questions, especially about your past. These individuals will listen to the silliest thing you want to say. Humans in general actually like to be listened to. We get naturally drawn to individuals who want to hear what we have to say, and even more drawn when we spill gibberish and the person still pays attention to us. However, that is until the opportunity to get over on you appears. When this happens, don't be surprised when they use your insecurities or other sensitive information against you. Emotional manipulators have a good awareness of your emotions and will quickly use them against you. Real friends are aware of your weaknesses but will in no condition use it against you. An old saying goes thus, love is giving someone the right to hurt you but trusting that they will never do such. This is what it feels like to be friends with someone. But for users, they fire at you with the very bullet you entrusted them with. They push all buttons. 6. They always want to be in charge. Your friends' unwillingness to set aside their own point of view for a moment to see yours is a common pattern of behavior in someone who is looking to double-cross you. These people usually have a compulsive need to remain in their ways even if a logical way of why things should be done differently is presented. Even if they are best at it, a good friend ought to step aside and allow you to grow as well. One of the reasons why users do not want you in charge 
is because they want to be the only ones recognized. As a matter of fact, even when you are the one who completed a task, a user can go as far as taking the accolades. Oftentimes, you will be punished for not complying with your friend's wishes. He or she may give you the silent treatment. 7. They will never compromise for your sake. Ideally, friendship should be about give and take in everything, including the logistics of when you get together. Reciprocation and compromise are words that are closely related to friendship. The act of reciprocating your kind gestures and being able to allow things done your way at times means that someone wants to be your friend. They can do this in several different ways, but they respect your decisions and can see reasons to bind to them as well. You just have to make sure you're doing it right. A successful compromise will leave you and your friend feeling like your voice is heard and your opinion is valued. And while you may have to make some sacrifices, you can still reach an outcome that makes you happy. Wanting a friend to make compromises does not mean that you place high expectations in them. It just means that you, alongside your friend, have an open mind to reach and accept the best possible solution. Users will never accept your opinion. Even with the facts, they think they know better and will never let go of their opinions. Well, we can actually say that they know better. After all, they're the ones with ulterior motives for having you as a friend. So they fear that any suggestion by you might just ruin their well-orchestrated plans. It hurts to realize that someone you considered close is using you and that they don't actually want to be a real friend. In situations like this, it's easy to look away from the truth at first, ignoring the signs, no matter how visible they may be. But then again, until you face the situation, take a deep look at your friend's behavior and talk about it.